because I don't want to I don't want to re-equip the any of my other stuff because they actually give me physical damage. The armor is the only one that doesn't. It just gives me two strength. Okay, that was the bunny attack. Smoldering blade. I don't know if this is a good spot to check my weapons, but who cares? This is not a dark weapon. Let's see weapon art. Weapon art is a charge. Heavy attack. Generic hammer. Oh, that's interesting. It doesn't have the normal great mace or great hammer. Uh, R1. That's like a sort of... Like a two-handed straight sword type of deal. It like slashes downwards. Now, is that Ballista gonna get my ass? Yep, definitely is. So maybe I'll come back and deal with that demon afterwards. After I turn off the Ballista, I mean. Also, there's the worm still here. This doesn't hurt that much. Also, I can just run right into the fog gate. That seems a little weird. Ow. Stop. So I don't even have to go through this entire area, it seems. I'm gonna do it anyways. See, see why they did this. There has to be a reason, right? Unless it's just for like convenience. Heavy attack. Oh, that guy didn't have enough health to even survive it. Um, 1.1k. It's more or less like the same damage as my... As... What is that weapon called? I was just using it and praising it. Now I forgot what it's called. The Beast Cutter. Like one of the L2-R2 combos. But it takes a lot more stamina. Yeah, to use the whole thing, it uses about the same stamina as, like, a cannon shot. Wasn't there more things up here? I, I, I don't know about this area. This area is more or less like a maze to me. What a boy... Oh god. No, please, I washed my hair yesterday. Don't need your freaking hair washing services. Man, it just fucking aggressively shampoos you without your permission. Hmm, 200 damage. That's a lot of, uh, resistances you got. I fall down. I remember this area was like lava or something. I'm gonna jump through it. Never mind. I can't tell if this weapon is like faster or slower than like an ultra great sword just because just because how weirdly it swings. These are both actual chests. Oh, that's a trap chest. Isolith staff. I'm guessing this one's trapped too, yeah. Witch's staff. Okay.
Have I been over here? Nope, I have not. This weapon's okay, I guess. There's nothing really special about it. Aside from, like, the charging attack, but... Like, all charging attacks, I don't, I don't like it that much. I'm gonna switch off of it. Use something else. What have I not used? I already used this, right? The Demon's Great Axe. It also puts me over weight ratio, so that's a no. Just about everything puts me over. I guess we'll go back to the Beast Cutter so we can actually wear some armor. That's definitely a illusory wall. Yep, it's a black knight in here, isn't it? Yep, I remember this part. But yeah, I think that's the thing with strength weapons. If you don't have anything to distinguish yourself apart from the rest, a fart, apart from the rest of the heavy strength weapons, then like. There's really no point of using it, unless you really like the aesthetic, or it just, stat-wise, just outcompetes all the other ones, you know? It's like, why would you use those when you have weapons like these? Like the Beast Cutter, the Beast Claws, that are so much more unique, you know? Granted, they're Bloodborne weapons, that's why they're, like, standing out from the rest. But even then... Uh, and also the blood letter. So yeah, these heavy weapons, unless you just have crazy amounts of attack rating, they're more or less the same. Just depends on your preferences. Where are all the orbs that they usually toss around here? There it is. Where did that thing go? So what did it just drop? Cleric mask? Drop something weird. Demon cleric mask. Oh, it boosts his casting speed. Is there not an area? I mean, item over here? I feel like there should be one, right? There's no item. Why would you bother putting these slimes on the ceiling if there's no item? Big rat. Is there an item over there? I can't tell. That feels good. That definitely feels good. Demon's Bane Ring. Boost damage against demons. Well, like the boss in this area is one, so that's, that definitely helps. This is the area with all the basilisks, right? Yeah. Right. Oh, here. I was just about to ask, how do I get back up? Because I wanted to go to that, um... The other side that I fell through. There's the lava hole. I'm definitely not going to be able to survive that, so... Well, maybe in this mod they added something that lets you just run across lava. 
Not entirely sure. Here it is. Do you have an item on you? There's usually an item, right? It's like a tome. Why would you not have an item on you? Alright. Fair enough, then. Are there items in the lava? There is. How much damage does this thing do, I wonder? It's not that bad. I think I can make it. Just gotta put on... Uh, max stamina. I kind of need these. I need this to heal, too. Where is... What just hit me? Come on. But yeah, I need... Where's my... Here it is. Increase fire damage absorption. That will work, right? And then maybe like, eat a mushroom or something. Massive amount of HP, large amount of HP. Yeah, I'll just use a mushroom. And buy more anyways. This hurts a lot. Large tiny eye shot, are you kidding me? That's it? You gotta be kidding me. I literally walk through the lava to get something I can't use. That's a little disappointing. Now, is that the same area of lava that you fall into? I don't think so, right? Oh god, I just fell- actually no, I need to come this way anyways. Find the lava place. Where is it? It's right here. Is this the same lava place? I might die here. Actually, do I have anything that gives me fire resistance? There's frost resist. Is there fire resist? Oh, you actually have these that boost your damage as well. It's really cool. I've been just like ignoring all the consumables, but they're actually really useful. Imagine like using a bright bug and then using one of these damage boost things. You just eat a bunch of crap before you go into a boss fight, so you're super beefed up. feel like that's pretty... That makes things pretty easy. Alright, we're just gonna roll down there. See what this is about. Is this the same area? It is the same area, because it doesn't have any... doesn't have any items down here. Alright. Well, now we know that. Uh, which way were we supposed to go again? This is the rat area. How do I get back to the... There's another rat. The area with the pyromancers. I'm gonna sort of reach the beginning area where you're supposed to enter this place. Yeah, okay, I don't care about your poison, buddy. I thought I cleared everything here. Why is there more stuff? Holy crap, there's so many little passages you can go through. You know how, like, you're supposed to enter this area through um, this crack on the ground? Where, where are these stairs up here?
being cautious just because I don't have any Estus left. This looks like a fake wall. Yikes. That's unfortunate because I don't think these knives will do any damage. Yeah, that's because they're fire. I think I can reach them with my weapon though. Yeah, I can. This is really necessary. Uh, I'm just gonna run through it. It'll take way too long for me to kill them one by one. What exactly is the point of this? Yeah, I'm not gonna go this way because I'm just gonna get more lost. I'm just gonna jump across. I don't know what the point of this place is. And I fell. Okay, I was just here, so no biggie. Up the stairs. I hear something. Any of your mimics? No mimics in this place, huh? It's very weird. The Grant and the Sanctus. Oh, he saw me. He definitely saw me. Pretty sure that's a faith strength weapon. Yeah, that just gave you the entirety of like a faith strength build. The paladin set, let's see what it does. Max HP. That's another build I kind of want to do. That looks, that sounds really fun. Just have like massive amounts of HP and uh, vitality. And wear like heavy armor like this while using. I think the Sanctus is the one that gives you health regeneration, right? Yeah, it restores 2 HP per second. Like an entire regen build. It's one I haven't tried. Where's the Grant? How am I not spotting this big? Oh, here it is. Oh, it's because it looks like crap. What is this thing? You have 40 faith, 30 strength. Increases faith by 5, boosts damage against undead and abyssal enemies by 30%. Prevents skeleton reassembly. Yeah. It's definitely a paladin, holy type of weapon. Alright, so we came... That's the hidden wall. And I'm guessing this is the area that you will usually come in from. Right? What is over here? I don't remember this area being this big, to be honest. Is that another Pyromancer demon? What is that? Where is that on top? I think that's the the big demon thing on top, just walking around. Yeah, you're supposed to drop in through here, right? Does something just move behind this thing? Yeah, you're supposed to drop in from here and then navigate the rest of this place, but instead they just kind of opened up that area for you. Like the area right before the boss, so you can just go fight the boss. Let's see, what is this area? This is the ambush? There's like four of them in here, right? One, two... Yeah, there's a lot of them in here. Wow, this one just started attacking me. Smoldering spear. I can't believe these things actually drop things. Oh, I didn't take a good look. What is it? Another... What is this, pyro weapon? fire damage so it needs faith and intelligence and what was that shield that it dropped smoldering shield increases fire absorption so I guess if you want to run through a lava that's another option for you 
Oh, this is one of those poison. How did I miss that? Smoldering dagger, smoldering talisman. What does that do? It, all of them gives you fire absorption. Immolate oneself 15% HP, leaving a trail of fire in your wake. Okay. Spell buff determined by faith. Affinity for fire damage. Huh. Is it better than the... The Pyromancer Flame? Like, is any of these better than the Pyromancer Flame? No idea. Once I do a Pyromancer run, I'll look into it. Which, by the way, Pyromancer looks pretty... Pretty strong in this mod. Played around with it a little bit. Did it, is that the thing you dropped? This? Smoldering Curved Sword? Oh, here's the tome. They moved the tome over here. Soul of the Old Hand. I think it's one of those, like, weird souls. Oh, warrior. Never mind, it's just normal soul. Yeah, these walls look really suspicious. All of them look like it can't be broken, or it's like a fake one. But yeah, that, I think that's it for this area. We're just gonna go fight the boss then. Or turn off the ballista and then go fight the boss. If I can find my way there. Just to prevent any bullshit, I'm gonna pop one of these. There shouldn't be any enemies left. I don't like clear this place. Now, if only I can find my way back. For all I know, I can just be running around in circles. But it feels like I'm getting somewhere. Yeah, so this is the main hall. Right, yeah, this is the main hall. Then I go up here. Oh, wait, this is where I came in. Right, this leads outside. This doesn't lead to the ballista. So over there. You know what? Why don't I go heal up? Sorry for all the backtracking and like and make up my mind whether or not I want to go heal or not. Why do I hear like a sound coming from here? What is that? Is it under me? Okay, let's heal up here. And then uh, we're gonna go deactivate the Ballista and then fight the old Demon King, I think. Look at this reach. Usually have to fight them one at a time. Not today, brother. Oh god. That's fine. Where am I? That is not fine. Don't poison me. I have no idea where I am now. Crap, it's, it put me in the beginning. Thought. You can get some help.
Where? I don't even have to look. I don't even know what they are. I just have enough range. Alright, let's try this again. Maybe it's this way. Out. Yeah, it looks like it's this way. All the brutes and the rats? Yeah, that's what it looks like. And, yep, yeah, right here. No, this is the lava room. Oh, here it is. Sweep these rats real quick. Hell. Wait, that's not a rat. You're one big rat, mister. Come over here. There's just more things for me to discover about this weapon. Like, after, after you do this chain, right, you can follow up with another heavy attack. And that's pretty quick, too. It connects pretty well. Ooh, almost missed this item. I thought I was going to jump right off. Well, it's nothing anyways. Don't curse me. The thing with this weapon is that it doesn't... It doesn't extend unless you two-hand it. So you really have to two-hand it in order to get like all of its benefits. Symbol of Avarice. I feel like Discovery is kind of like a non-issue in this mod. Just everything, it's like either in a chest or it's super easy to get. Have I been to this area? Oh, this is the area, like, right beside the rat. Oh, okay, so you can just go straight down from here. I never went through here, I always just kind of jumped down from that hidden wall with the chest. Yeah, I always jump down from here. Anything else in here? Wasn't there another, like, lava area here? Is this it? Yeah, here. Here's another lava area. I remember Sorig. Yeah, there he is. Sorig loves to ambush you here. Where's this guy going? Where are you going, mate? I didn't do as much damage as I thought I would. Alright, you can stop using that now. I get it. You're a flashy fire boy. as much reach as I thought I would. Christ. Come on. Don't make me take out the beast claws on you. Even though I should. I should have. I'm like draining through my SS flat just because I'm not. I 
keep overestimating the range on this. Black Iron Great Shield. He used to be the one that drops you the fogs. There's a chest at the end of that. What is this? Oh my god, they put another commune point here. Well, I have to find out what that is. Let me just equip... See, this is where... This is where I'm gonna put all my smoldering gear on. Actually, can I even... Where... Fire damage... There's a lot of fire damage items. What's with the, like... The scarcity of the physical damage items. I only found like this thing and then that and then this set. Alright, I don't need these. Where's the Where's the fire resist? Or fire defense? Here it is, fire defense, gargoyle skull. A little heavy. Anything else? No, I guess we have to wear this. We have to wear the gargoyle set. Gargoyle. Hey, that does not look like a gargoyle at all. I'll take it. Now, where's the fire resistance shield? Over here. I thought there would be other ones too. And then the smoldering something, curve sword. Oh, it's on fire. Okay. It's, it's just on fire. It doesn't have anything else that's cool. Okay. Doesn't matter to me, I'm not going to be using it. Let's go. I'm still taking a lot of damage. If that was a mimic, that would be the most troll thing, I swear to god. Just a lava resistant mimic waiting to chomp on my ass. That wasn't so bad. Didn't really get anything I kind of need or anything, but we got them nonetheless. Alright, I think we got everything here. Time to turn off the ballista. Hmm. Mimic. Is that another mimic? That's the shark. Glad I didn't miss that this time. What are you? Black Knight Sword, Black Knight Shield. I think Black Knight Sword is pretty good, right? No, it needs 18 decks. Fuck that. Where are my claws at? I'm gonna need this to deal with this Black Knight here because I don't have any S's left. Come on, come over here. Oh my god. Black Knight Greatsword. Hold on, just let me pop another mushroom. I'm gonna eat all my mushrooms in this one place. Gotta go buy some more from Patches. Because if you remember, he sells mushrooms. 
why I left him alive after all. Where is the... here it is. Black Knight Greatsword. Why does it always need decks? Black Knights, why do you need decks? 